Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is my top picks for 2015. It took me a lot of like time to figure out what I wanted to include in this video because I have so many favorite products. These are just my top dogs, my ones that I like use basically every single day. So um, although I have a lot of other favorite products that did not make the cut this year, um, these products I'll be talking about are my favorite, favorite, favorite ones. So anyways, if you guys want to see what my favorite products are for the... What am I talking about? For 2015, and then please keep watching. Gosh, look at this forehead. I have a five finger forehead. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna start off with some products that I use in a lot of my videos. I'm not gonna take too much time on these because I mention them all the time, I use them all the time, and I don't wanna bore you, but you know that I love the Lorac, the Lorac, I can't speak, and there's hair stuck in that, but anyways, I love the Lorac Pro palette. I feel like if you're starting off with makeup, this is the best palette for you to have. It has, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight matte shades, eight shimmer shades, you can create any look with it. So if you're just starting off in makeup, these shadows are really easy to work with. They're really pigmented, and you have everything you need to create a dramatic or a natural look. It's amazing. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this palette because I use it all the time, but it's amazing. This next product you guys see me use in a lot of my videos, but I haven't really broken down like what it is, why I love it. So this is the Kaylin Brow Gel. Um, so basically it, come, it came with a little um, brush right here, but I lost it. But anyways, it's a brow gel, brow cream, if you will. Um, it's so amazing because it's opaque, but it's not overpowering at the same time. So a little bit goes a long way. You don't need too much. Um, I find that I can really carve out my brows with this stuff. It's, it just glides over the brow and makes it nice and defined and filled in. So I've been using this little guy a lot. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way. I've been using it all year and I haven't even hit the bottom of it yet. I'm not even close actually. Like... <laughs> probably gonna get another year or two years if it lasts that long out of it so it's awesome okay so another product I use a lot in my videos is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion <laughs> got something in my eye great this primer is my favorite because it kind of erases all of my veins and any darkness it's kind of like a concealer for your lids and it also seriously will not your eyeshadow will not crease it won't go anywhere I fall asleep with my eyeshadow on and I've woken up with this butte still intact eyeshadow looking fly so if you're looking for a primer this stuff will last you a long time you're definitely getting what you pay for with this primer so not gonna get too far into it I love this primer so moving into lip products I'm just gonna show you a few of them so this past year I've used these two lipsticks probably the most out of my whole collection these are Maybelline lipsticks from the nude collection I believe it's called um, so anyways this is in the color touchable taupe and it's just this really pretty kind of nudie mauve color so I've really been wearing the, the crap out of this one. It's just a really nice neutral color to go with. And then I always carry around this little guy right here. This one is in the color Nude Lust. And I always like to carry this one around because if I'm like having a day where I'm going to the grocery store and I'm not wearing any makeup, this is the perfect your lips but better color. So it's just a really nice kind of light nude color so it looks like your lips but better. So yeah, I've been really loving these two lipsticks. Um, one is super natural so it just looks great when you're not wearing any makeup. Or when you are, either or, and the other one is just really nice for an everyday wear. Now I will say that 2015 has been the year of liquid lipsticks for me. Like I, I discovered liquid lipsticks in 2015 and I'm obsessed. Like I've always been looking for something that's long wearing, doesn't, you know, budge on your lips and it's like re something really pigmented. And I've been preferring matte lip colors for the past like year and a half so I don't really like too much shine to my lip colors. The other two that I just showed you they do have a little bit of shine to them but um, these ColourPop lip liquid lipsticks um, are completely matte like ultra matte. If you don't like matte lips you're not going to like these but if you don't care these are awesome. They're a little uncomfortable on the lips but not to the point where it bothers me. I'm not going to talk too much about these ColourPop liquid lipsticks because I think I want to make a full video on them. If you guys want to see that let me know. I'll do like swatches and I'll talk about each color. Um, yeah, Just let me know because as you can see my collection has been building and building like crazy. And another liquid lipstick that I've fallen in love with are the Sorry, I'm getting these out of a basket. Are the LA Girl liquid lipsticks. I've mentioned these as well, so I'm not going to talk about them too much. These are matte as well, but they're not as matte as the color proof. Color proof? What am I thinking? 
but they're not as matte as the ColourPop liquid lipsticks, so they're a little bit more comfortable to wear. Some people love them, some people hate them, but that's just how it goes with liquid lipsticks in general, as I found. Some people can't just can't take it on their lips, they don't like the feeling. I could wear tar on my lips and I would be fine with it. As long as my lip color does not budge, I'm good. Product that I love, I said product, product that I love is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. As you can see, it's well, actually, it looks like it's full, but I promise you it's like right down to here. So I've had this for about a year and a half, and it took me that long to go, go through it, and I don't use it every day. I try and conserve my nice concealers for like when I'm going out or something, and then just for every day I'll use like um, my LA Girl Pro Concealer. So um, I do really like this, by the way. I, I like the consistency. I, I like the coverage, the consistency. I just have a little bit of a hard time working it into my skin. So once that's all blended out and everything, this is great. So I will mention this in this video. But my all-time favorite concealer for 2015 was the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So this is in the color NC15. This is the latest, the latest shade that they have. Um, not quite light enough for my skin. I wish it was like a, a, a tiny bit. I stuttered so hard just now, but a tiny bit lighter. Um, just to give me a little bit more of a highlight, but my skin, it's just a little light. My skin's just pretty much, you know, the lightest shade in every single line when it comes to foundation, concealer, everything. So I wish it was a little lighter. Life is tough sometimes. We're just moving on. So the, the last bit of makeup that I have here for you guys is a blush, actually. This is the Sigma shimmer cream in the color bliss this is my favorite blush of all time guys um i use this in so many videos i use this all the time this is really disgusting because it's hairy from the brush that i use so don't judge it but um yeah i love how it's just this really kind of dewy peachy color when i put it on my cheeks it actually gives me a little bit of a glow so um, i really love this blush i'm a little skeptical when it comes to cream blushes because i'm all about doing easy things um but when I used this one for the first time, it really just glided on my cheeks, especially when I use the brush. Hi guys. Especially when I use the Sigma blush brush, this really just fits on the apples of your cheeks and just gives you the perfect little blush here. So I'm just gonna get a little on there right now. So yeah, it just gives you a really nice glow. It's not shimmery, it's not sparkly, it just kind of gives you a nice little bit of shine and just makes you come to life a little bit. So when it comes to face primers, this one is great. It has little particles that reflect light, so it gives you that kind of luminous look. It fills in pores and fine lines, and it really just makes your makeup glide on really nicely, so I've been loving this little guy right here. All right, moving on to hair products. One of my favorite hair products of all time is Fiberblast by Colourproof. Um, I love this product so much because, let me just let me just show you guys something really quick. So it's basically a really lightweight Faber, Faber paste fiber paste and I don't know if you guys can see this but like it just stretches it's really lightweight and like if you clap it it literally turns into little tiny hair like fibers and floats around the room I don't know if you can even see that but it's amazing to me but that's not that's not what you're supposed to do with it at all that's not part of the selling points at all I just get sidetracked um, it's, it's great for scrunching into curls or waves and you can really just shape out your curls if you have short hair it's perfect for really just placing curls in certain places wherever you put this paste your hair will stay obviously my hair is not really curled so I can't show you how it works but if you have curled hair you can literally like shape your curl and give it that messy text textured look best and coolest product I've ever used in my life and another color proof product that I love actually it's completely gone like I just wanted to save the bottle to show you guys in this video this is the color proof epic hold color protect hairspray <sighs> this hairspray is like nothing else I've ever used in my life it's extremely hard hold um, if you're like back combing your hair and you want a little spray, this is going to keep whatever you've got going, going all night. It's it's just a really hard hold hairspray. I like to spray it in my hair and then brush through it and then curl my hair to help my curls hold in longer. So you can brush through it. It's not that hard holding where you're going to have like a rock on your head. But if you really do need a, a, a hard holding hairspray, this one's great. It also smells kind of like, um, what does this smell like? It smells kind of like candy to me. Like sweet tarts or something like that I can't quite put my finger on it but definitely an amazing hairspray right there another product that I'm obsessed with is the big sexy hair back comb in a bottle this stuff is awesome it's basically like a back comb in a bottle if you put it too close to your hair though it can get crusty and a little bit crunchy um, but if you just you know lift up your hair and spray a little bit in your root area and really just kind of 
and really just kind of rub it in you just get that a beautiful like voluminous look i don't know how to explain it but you literally just gain height in your your head area and it's amazing so if you like volume that's a good one so is um the fiber blast basically if you want volume in your hair you have to add a little texture to it so that's what i found i used to have the most flattest hair in the entire world and then i found out found out about texture products and it really just poofed my hair up and just made my volume life easier all right and i have one more product for volume because i'm a volume junkie this is the color proof uh powder fix and basically this is Let's see, this is probably the, the product that I've used the most out of the entire year. So what a volume powder does is it adds texture to your root area. Otherwise, if you want to mix it in with a little bit of hair oil and like get it in through your ends and give yourself a little extra texture at the bottom of your hair, you can do that. But this is perfect for sprinkling into your roots and it just gives you this amazing lightweight texture which just really bumps your hair up and makes it so easy to back comb it makes your back comb stay in and even if you don't back comb your hair it'll give you extra volume so um i've been using the like i said color proof powder fix i also have the big sexy hair powder play um definitely the color proof is a lot more potent a lot more um texturizing than the powder play I definitely prefer this one over this one but when I can't find my color proof one I'll use my um, big sex big sexy hair one so all right when it comes to skincare I have the glam glow mask oh this is honestly the first face mask that I've ever used where I've seen instantaneous results I literally had blackheads all over my nose before I used this mask and it took out a I want to say about 40% of the blackheads. So um, if you use this every week, your skin is just going to be amazing and glowing. Um, I used this on my boyfriend actually yesterday. I finally talked him into it, put it on his nose, and his, you could see such a difference. So it wasn't just me. It worked on his face too. It's amazing. So if you have the extra cash lying around, I totally recommend the Glam Glow Mask. Um, I got the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. If you have blackheads, you need this. It's worth it every penny so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys had an awesome 2015 i'm really excited to start the new year and see what it has in store for all of us so um if you guys could i would love it if you could leave me some comments below letting me know what your favorite products are for 2015 because i'm always looking so anyways thank you guys so much for watching happy new year and i'll talk to you next time bye